They should be close. Grazie a Dio. Quick, let's do it. Buongiorno, Ezio. How could you leave a Firenze without saying a proper goodbye? Ezio! What do you want, Vieri? So many things. A larger palazzo, two new steeds, a prettier bride. Oh, and yes, your life. My condolences for the loss of your father and brothers. <laughs> What will happen now that there's no one left to help you? I have such wonderful things in store. I grow tired of this game. Finish him and do not spare the women. What sorcery is this? <laughs> not sorcery, boy. Skill. Show yourself. As you wish. Here, use this. Kill them! Kill them all! You have my thanks. Keep the sword, Ezio. Do I know you from somewhere? Don't you recognize me? It's a me, Mario! Uncle Mario? <clears throat> it's been too long, you hotel. Far too long. I heard what happened in Firenze. Terrible. Come, let's get you all away from here. Tell me everything. They executed father for treason. Federico and Petruccio too. And they came for me. Do you know why? I have no answers, uncle. Only a list of names taken from a man who wished me dead. I still can't believe they are gone. Don't worry. We will make sense of this. I wish I shared your optimism. Come on, keep pace. We're almost there. I think you will find much to like in Monterey Johnny. I thought Monterey Johnny was an enemy of Firenze. For now. Next year it will be its friend, the year after its enemy again, and on and on. I cannot keep track, so I have stopped trying. These are honest, hard-working people. Our shops may only carry simple goods, but they're well-made and dependable. There is a chapel here, too. De Prete seems a nice enough fellow, but I have never been much of a believer. Did you know the Villa Auditore is almost 200 years old? It was built by my great-grandfather, a strange man who carried all kinds of secrets. Keep your eyes open, and you might discover a few of them yourself. With all the fighting that's been going on, this place has started to get a bit rough around the edges. I wish I could do something about it, but I just don't have the time or money to fix things up. Guess that's life, huh? Here we are, Casa Dolce Casa. So, what do you think? It's most impressive, Uncle. She's seen better days, I suppose. Believe me, I'd have her shining again if only I had the time. Now that you have had the tour, Nipote, you should go and outfit yourself. My men in the market are expecting you. Return here when you're finished, and we'll begin. Begin? Begin what? I thought you'd come here to drink. No, Uncle. I came here to escape Firenze. 
And I intend to take my family further still. But what about your father? He'd want you to finish his work. What work? My father was a banker. Wait, he did not tell you? I have no idea what you're talking about. Ma che me combini, Giovanni? Where to even begin? Go and fetch the gear in the market. It will give me time to think. But... But that's that. We'll talk more later. Some spending money, should you need it. And if you find yourself in need of rest, I've prepared a room for you on the top floor of the villa. It seems genuine. Prices for noble ways. Come, Amici. <laughs> you look stronger already. Only the height of the Smith Lord. Don't worry. We're only staying here for a little while. I don't like it here. I want to go home. I know. Salute, uncle. I did as you asked. And quickly, too. Pan fatto. Now, let's teach you how to fight. No. As I said, we are leaving. Ezio, you barely held your own against Vieri. You won't survive a week on the road. If you want to leave, so be it. But at least do so armed with the skills and knowledge necessary to defend yourself. If not for me, for your mother and sister. Fine. Ottimo. You can swing a sword to be sure, but offense alone will not carry a battle. You must survive long enough to strike. I will teach you how to dodge. You said my father was more than just a banker. Ah. No use dancing around it, I suppose. Your father was an assassin, Ezio. I told you before, my father was a paper pusher. No, he was born and bred to kill. Benny, I've taught you how to avoid your enemy's attacks. Now you'll learn how to turn them to your advantage. All this talk of assassins and Templars, it reeks of fantasy. Like something from an old parchment covered in arcane writing, perhaps? How did you know? You have your father's blade, and I think oh. you have the codex page in the building as well. Oh, su! Non sono mica così bravo! Don't be so... It's a fight, Feso! You're making fine progress, Ezio. 
Today I'm going to teach you how to position yourself in battle. Where you stand and how you move can make all the difference. Don't think I haven't seen you picking apart my library. I trust you believe me now? Yes. My father was an assassin. But why the need for such secrecy? Are you familiar with the Templars? One of several knightly orders formed during the Crusades. History teaches they were disbanded nearly 200 years ago in France. Only they weren't. Merely pushed underground, where they continued their nefarious work. What work? The Templars seek dominion over man. And we, the assassins, are sworn to stand against them. Was Uberto one of them? Yes. And the other names on my father's list? Templars as well. That means Vieri. Just like his father, Francesco. Likely the entire Pazzi family. Hey, it would explain many things. really come into your own. Thank you, uncle, for all you have given me. Your family. Such is my duty and my desire. I'm glad you had me stay. Good. You've reconsidered leaving. We sail for Spain in three days. But Nipote, I have given you these skills that you might be better prepared to strike against our enemies. And if they find me, I will. You want to leave Ezio? To throw away everything your father fought and died for? To deny your heritage? Fine! Come voi. Arrivederci e buona fortuna. Uncle, wait! Why is he so upset? How can he not be? Vieri's been harassing us ever since you first arrived. To be expected, I suppose. Given his heritage. Uncle! Where is everyone? They ride for San Gimignano to slay that snake, Vieri. Vieri di Pazzi, the youngest member of the second most notorious Florentine banking family 
This kid knew how to burn right through his father's money. Outside of spending sprees involving weaponry, exotic animals and clothes, he was fiercely competitive. Vieri hosted races of all kinds, boating, horseback riding, running. All of them rigged, of course. And get this, if through some amazing stroke of luck he ever lost, he'd invite the winner's entire family over for a victory dinner and serve them a meal to die for. Wish to join them. You'll find what you need at the stables. Ezio, look at her. I still can't get her to talk. She spends all day and night in front of those feathers Petruccio used to collect. She can't let them go. I don't know what to do. Don't worry. She'll come back to us. I know it. Let's see how well you fight! It another time. Excellent. One more and we'll be done. another time. Just one more time, Ezio.
such grace. Well played, my friend. Again, please. like everyone else. Hurt so. 
Ciao. Bring me your sick and wounded. Ezio, what are you doing here? Taking responsibility. Vieri troubles you because of me. <laughs> Vieri troubles us because he's a Templar, and we are assassins. Either way, I wish to help. Va bene. Then listen close. First, we must find a way inside the city, though it seems Vieri expects us. He has sealed the gates and sent his men to guard them. Fortunately for us, the city is larger than his host. The southern gate suffers for it, so this is where we'll strike, pronti? Alright Ezio, here's how it is going to work. My men and I will distract the guards. Once we have engaged them, get yourself over the wall and find a way to open the gate. Take these throwing knives. Use them to dispatch the archers. I'm ready when you are. Then let us begin. I want you to distract those guards and keep them from raising the alarm. Hopefully it will buy me enough time to find and silence Vieri. Va bene. Wait, Nipote. Take a few of my men with you, just to be safe. Come join me once they're dealt with. What's Vieri up to well, now? No one knows, but something has him on edge. How else to explain all the patrols? A signal again when you should follow. Instead, he's turned us into nursemaids. And what? Shooting his mouth off again, no doubt. Angering the wrong sorts of people. And so now, we pay the price. Careful. 
Or do you want to strike before him like Bernardo was? Poor bastard. I heard Gary took his eyes. I'd like to keep mine. So let's end this conversation. By your receipt and fun. I'd start running. Oh, the new minds are making a Your uncle's under attack and needs help. Go to him. Ah, the boat. There you are. It seems my plan is to come to attack. So here is the ham. Now we've got our hands. My brothers and I will deal with these guys. I want you to go on ahead and root up that snake. See the justice of It's settled. Vieri, you will remain here to coordinate the mercenary. 
Francesco will organize our forces in the city and send word when it's time to strike. Jacopo, your job is to calm the citizens once the deed is done. What of that Ubriacone Mario? He continues to harass my forces, and I fear he'll discover what we intend. He's always been trouble, just like that bastardo brother of his. Then let me reunite them, father. There will be plenty of time to clean up the refute when we're finished. Now, is there anything else? Muy bien. May the Father of Understanding guide you. May, May the, the Father, Father of, of understanding, understanding guide you. Comandante! Comandante! What? Mario Auditore has invaded the city. He comes for you. <laughs> then let's not keep him waiting. What are you and your allies planning? Is this what my father discovered? Is this why he was killed? I'm sorry. Were you hoping for a confession? Pezzo di merda! Vorrei solo che avessi sofferto di più! Hai avuto la fine che meritavi! Spero che bru... Enough, Ezio! Show some respect. Respect? After all that's happened... Do you think he would have shown either of us such kindness? You are not Fieri. Do not become him. Che la morte ti dia le pace che cercavi. Requiesca in pace. Take this. Read it when you have the time. Our work here is finished. Let us return to the villa. Messer Francesco. I have done as requested and spoken with your son. I agree with your assessment, though only in part. Yes, Pieri is brash and prone to act without forethought. And he has a habit of treating the mercenary like playthings. I have received reports of at least three men being disfigured as a result. But I do not think him, as you put it, beyond repair. Rather, I believe the solution to be a simple matter. He seeks your approval, your attention. These outbursts of his are a result of insecurities born out of a sense of inadequacy. He speaks of you often and fondly and expresses a desire to be closer to you. So, if he is loud and foul and angry, I believe it is simply because he wants to be noticed. He wants to be loved. Act as you see fit on the information I've given you here. But I must ask that we end this correspondence. Were it to discover the nature of our conversations, I fear what might become of me. Yours in confidence, Fra Giocondo.
later then, yes? I'll find something by then, I'm sure. And here he is, our campione Ezio. Oh, oh hey, hey Ezio. Ezio! I see you've wasted no time starting the celebration. And why not? You've done us a great service, Nipote. With Vieri dead, La Toscana will grow quiet once more. Do you know what that means? Basta lavorare. Si passa tutto il giorno a bere. E a puttane. What? It's true. <laughs> <laughs> Come, Ezio, walk with me. Yes, uncle. The Pazzi answer to another. A Spaniard. He is Rodrigo Borgia, one of the most powerful men in all of Europe, and leader of the Templar Order. Which makes him responsible for the murder of my father and brothers. Yes, and he will kill you too, given the chance. Then I must stand against him if I wish to be free. But not until every other Templar has fallen to my blade. Father's list will guide me. Where will you go next? Firenze. Francesco de Pazzi will share the fate of his son. A sensible next step. No doubt he intends evil for the city. All right, that's enough grim talk for one night. I'll be in my study if you need me. I shall read the letter my uncle gave me. Messer Francesco, I have done as requested and spoken with your son. I agree with your assessment, though only in part. Yes, Pieri is brash and prone to act without forethought. And he has a habit of treating the mercenary like playthings. I have received reports of at least three men being disfigured as a result. But I do not think him as you put it. Beyond repair. Rather, I believe the solution to be a simple matter. He seeks your approval, your attention. These outbursts of his are a result of insecurities born out of a sense of inadequacy. He speaks of you often and fondly and expresses a desire to be closer to you. So, if he is loud and foul and angry, I believe it is simply because he wants to be noticed. He wants to be loved. Act as you see fit on the information I've given you here. But I must ask that we end this correspondence. Were he to discover the nature of our conversations, I fear what might become of me. Yours in confidence. Fra Giocondo.